Good day, folks, and welcome to another edition of Lumberjack Logic. I'm your host, Neil Johnson, with some great news out of the state of Arizona, where the election-denying America First mega candidate, Carrie Lake, is leading in the most recent polls. Not only that, I'm going to bring in some video and show you just why she's doing so well and why it appears she will win. If you remember, Carrie Lake was actually leading Katie Hobbs in the polls, though, as well. I do want to point this out. Yet somehow... Katie Hobbs pulled out a miracle. Now, hopefully, and I know there are people working on the ground in Arizona to get things changed and get things fixed down there. So keep up the good work, Arizonans, because this state is important. So America First conservative Carrie Lake is leading her potential challengers in Arizona's United States Senate race, the latest Rasmussen Report survey found. This out of Breitbart News. The survey asked if the elections for U.S. Senate were being held today and the candidates were Republican Carrie Lake and Democrat Ruben Gallego, who would you vote for? Now, you need to understand, down in Arizona, there is also Kirsten Cinema, who became an independent because the Democrat Party was even too whacked for the lesbian who wears weird dresses in the United States Senate. Uh, I mean, this is how bad the party has become. Okay, so Lake, who is backed by the National Republican Senatorial Campaign and its chair, Steve Daines, Republican Montana, leads among likely voters as 45% say they would support her compared to 42% to choose Ruben Gallego. That reflects a three-point advantage in a head-to-head -head matchup. But if you add Kirsten Cinema in as an independent, she still wins. 37 to Gallego's 33 and Cinema's 21%. So the Democrat Party cannot stand Cinema right now because they did not allow HR1 to go through, which would have faced major constitutional challenges. That was their bill to federalize elections and take that over at the federal level. Would have been very bad, people. Um, there was a whole lot of bad stuff in that bill I don't have time to get into, but the bottom line is Kirsten Sinema did oppose that. So I give her kudos for that. But here's the thing. It really made her an enemy in the Democrat Party. Now, in this race, it is important to know why Carrie Lake is winning. Because everybody thinks, oh my gosh, there's all these Hispanics down there in Arizona. They would never vote for Carrie Lake because she opposes the open border policies. Well, one of the things that people need to understand is, and I've got a supporting videos here, the Latino community that is actually here legally, they don't want open borders. Check this out. Thank you so much for being with us. And, and Alfonso, we were talking about that and we wanted to talk about this with you because there are now more than 36.2 million Hispanics eligible to vote mm -hmm. in the United States, many of them in your state, Arizona. Yes. So what will be your message for them? This is a very important year uh, for the future of this country, Kerry. We have 25% of our population in Arizona are Hispanic. My family, my, my husband and children are Latino. So it's very near and dear to my heart, the, um, the concerns and needs of the Latino community. But I believe that in many ways, we're so much more alike. My same message to all Arizonans and frankly Americans is that we're losing what makes this country precious. We can already tell our streets are not safe, our, our neighborhoods are not safe. We go to the grocery store, we can't afford groceries. We have to worry about our safety walking back to the car. Our children, um, their education is not quality. They're not getting out of high school ready for the jobs that are out there. As a matter of fact, in many ways, they're being turned against their own families in school. And we have a wide open border where uh, millions of people are pouring across unvetted. I think that Hispanic voters don't like that just as much as any other voter. They want safe streets. They want safe communities. They want a good economy. They want opportunity, great education. And we had all of those things with President Trump when he put America first. So that's why I'm such a big supporter of America first policies. Absolutely love the interviewer's accent. I'm not going to lie. But Carrie Lake is making great points because the Hispanic community actually tends to be more conservative socially. And so they like a lot of the conservative policies that way. But in addition, don't think that just because they have a different color melanin, you know, different skin tone, that they don't want good schools safe streets, and a non-open border where things like the Lake and Riley murder are happening. In fact, I've got some more video that you're going to want to see where Carrie addresses that straight on. We had an amazing, amazing young woman with her whole life ahead of her 
who was brutally killed by an illegal immigrant here who came across illegally and had already been committing crimes before he killed and took the life of 22-year-old nursing student Lakin Riley. I think her picture is up here somewhere. We've got a picture right over here. And this one really struck me. I'm going to be honest. I have a daughter who happens to be here right now, my beautiful girl Ruby, who's right around Lakin's age. And I don't think I'm the only mom out there who is laid awake at night thinking about this beautiful, beautiful girl who was taken from us. I call her a girl. She's a young woman with a whole life ahead of her. We're losing too many Americans to the crime that's happening when people are pouring across our, com our country unvetted. We have people who are dangerous, dangerous criminals pouring across our country. Jose Ibarra is the illegal alien who was um, e eventually arrested. He entered through Joe Biden's open border. We know this. We know that he entered. We have the, uh, the receipts to prove it. This catch and release policy is so deadly. This is what's putting people who are, are violent criminals back on the street. They're, they come across the border. They are detained briefly, processed, and sent back out. This policy is not working, and it's killing American citizens. It's not an isolated incident. I wish it were. Frankly, I wish it were. I want to show you a few, um, a few pictures of what's happening in our country. Jose Ibarra, this is the man who took Lakin's life. He is from Venezuela. He entered the country illegally in 22. He was previously arrested in New York City in 2023. He was also arrested in October and released once again. He murdered Lake and Riley a week ago. A week ago, Lake and Riley's family lost the light in their life when Lakin's life was taken. Okay, so this is alarming. Here's a guy, he's already been caught. We, he's a known criminal. I mean, he was a criminal the moment he entered because he was already doing criminal behavior by crossing our border illegally. But then, on top of that, he commits more crimes. And the Biden regime is unwilling to do anything, anything, to keep him behind bars or deport him. So instead, he goes out and he barbarically kills a 22-year-old young lady. It's disgusting. And you have to ask yourself, well, wait now, what's going on? Why aren't they worried about the political consequence of this? So I can only think of one or two things. One is that they just don't care because they don't feel they need to answer to the voters. And if they didn't feel they need to answer to the voters, why would that be? This is why it's so important for you to get involved in the local election apparatus. That's why it's so important for you to be on the ground as poll watchers, as judges, uh, election judges, and so on. And the other thing is fighting the good fight to get rid of machines, to do all the things that it takes for election integrity. By the way, the greatest election integrity warrior is coming on my show tomorrow at 11 o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time, Mike Lindell. And he's offering out free shipping again for my audience with promo code Lumberjack. So go check out the products at MyPillow.com forward slash Lumberjack or use promo code Lumberjack. And he has extended the free shipping. But... There are people on the ground who are doing the hard work to ensure election integrity and contacting their state reps and so on. But until we actually gain back control, we're not going to be able to get everything done we want to get done. So we have to come out in such mass numbers. It has to be an election like what happened down in Argentina, folks. That's what needs to take place. So drag everybody you can to the polls. But here's some more from Carrie Lake. This is a story that needs more coverage. And I, I ask you as a, as a former journalist and as a mother and an Arizonan who loves this state and loves this country, please cover these stories. Cover them fairly. Explain what's really happening. And expose the crimes that are happening that shouldn't even be happening because of this wide open border. And ask some tough questions of, of the Democrats, including my opponent. It would be great if the Arizona Republic actually asked some tough questions of him. I know they won't, but the people of this state deserve to know where he stands. He's a wide open border. He loves open borders. He wants to give amnesty to everybody. He wants everyone who's coming over to vote. And uh, the Arizona Republic won't cover it. Unfortunately, when I tried to write an, uh, an op-ed about my border plan, they refused to air and cover the op-ed. They refused to put it in their paper unless I took the word invasion out. Well, turns out I was right. Yep. It is an invasion, and the Arizona Republic was wrong, and that's why their subscriptions have drop in, dropped so low that I don't even know how they keep the lights on. But I appreciate all of you for being here. Thank you very much, and thank you, Senator Brasso. Thank you.
People, we need a win in Arizona. Drag everybody you can to the polls. Register everyone you can. And just be the eyes and ears on the ground. Get in touch with, just keep putting the pressure on the legislature down in Arizona. This is one of the issues that's the toughest for them to take up. They're, they, they're kind of scared of it politically, so you've got to apply the pressure. Remember to uh, go check out Mike, Pil- Mike, <laughs> Mike Pillow, My Pillow with Mike Lindell, MyPillow.com, promo code Lumberjack for big savings and free shipping right now. Peace out.